we have the amazing story of one father on a mission to bring an end to bullying. His own son was a victim and ended up taking his own life. Now this Oregon dad is walking across the nation to raise awareness, and that walk brought him through Idaho this weekend. Our Eric Fink has his story. He had so much to offer this world. <clears throat> In January, Joe Bell's 15-year-old son, Jaden, hung himself near the high school where he was a freshman in his hometown of La Grande, Oregon. The teenager had recently come out to his family and to his peers at school. After revealing he was gay, the torment and bullying began. In the hallways at school and parking lot at school, on the way home, people throwing trash at him. Fifteen days after he hung himself, his parents took Jaden off life support and watch their son die. Tough. Very tough. Children aren't supposed to go before you. After my son's funeral, I was lying in bed, just wanting to die myself. I knew I couldn't. In April, Joe became the force of change, strapping on a backpack to spread awareness about the dangers of bullying. And I didn't know how far to walk. I thought maybe just across, across the state. And no, that wouldn't be far enough. So this father in mourning began a cross country trip to honor his son's memory and to help educate schools and students. Joe will stay here in Idaho until a new pair of walking shoes arrives. Then he and his shoes will get back on the sidewalks and resume his journey. One that will end in New York City, the place where Jaden wanted to go to college and live as an adult. Joe understands he likely won't see his home for two years. He says his wife and younger son will meet him this summer, somewhere in this country, to walk together. And this father knows he can endure the homesickness, as the memory of Jaden provides strength to keep walking. His love never far behind. And I know Jaden would be proud of me for doing this. I know he's with me on this walk. Eric Fink, Today 6 on your side.